Right, well welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 Restoration Channel. Those of you who new, my name's Barry. You can hear Betty the Blackbird singing away and her little friends eating just underneath her. It doesn't give her monkeys. Anyway, today, what we're going to be doing today, the seal kit has arrived. Can we say that? There we go. 41250. The seal kit for the internals of the cold start. Now last week we were messing about with the uh, the fuel pump, the injection fuel pump on this side and the cold start. We did realise that there was a piece missing which was, it's in there, which was a tiny little aluminium bush. There we go, tiny little aluminium bush off the end of the cold start screw. So we're talking to um, Diesel Injection Company, the fuel pumps, um, found out that they had the part, ordered it up, got it delivered. In that conversation was asking for the seals for the cold start screw. And they said this wasn't a serviceable item. They didn't have the parts, um, but they had the replacement, a full replacement screw. And I think the price of it was about 42 pound plus VAT plus postage. So you're looking at the best part of 55 quid, aren't you, for that? Um, um, took the screw back out, replaced the O-rings on the outside of the screw, popped it back in again. As I say, ordered that part, waited for it coming because it was still leaking. Made a mention of it in the weekly yarn and Shane from America came back on and said, uh, DB Parts has the full seal kit for the internal screw on the coal start and the reason why the diesel injection people didn't have it is because this coal start mechanism is only peculiar to Davy Brown tractors you don't find it on any other CAV DPA pump on any other tractor it is only on Davy Brown's hence Davy Brown's stock the spares so I went straight on the website, had a look, sure enough, part number 41252 is the seal kit for it. So we ordered that up, and uh, it came yesterday. So we're going to whip this screw back out of here today, we're going to reseal it, and we're going to pop it back in, see if it stops while leaks on. So what we're going to need for this job is 3 quarter spanner, 5 eighths spanner. And most importantly, everyone gonna need one of these. I think these are brilliant, these. Look at this. This is an adjustable, bendy funnel. You can bend it any shape you like. So I'm gonna bend it up at the back. We're gonna insert it up the back of the pump so the diesel tips this and runs down out the way instead of making a mess. Right, let's get you a quick look at the setup and we'll crack on and get this screw took out. Bet he's given us our encouragement there from the fence. Listen to her. Alright, let's crack on. So here you go to our funnel, pushed up under the fuel pump, dripping into a little old bread loaf tin. And that's just to stop the mess basically. I mean you could ram that full of clots if you wanted to. Because I would think, I would think realistically, without the filament part, this is a 10 minute job, right? In, out, wham, bam, thank you ma'am, job's done, get it back in, stop the leaks. So you'd get away with this at home, just sticking a cloth under that pump, catch the drips, crack on, get it done. Right, let's get it out, let's have a look at it. So come in with a three quarter spanner. Loosen, loosen the body off. We get our little, our little funnel. Get things prepared here, and then we just simply unscrew. take it out. 
ensuring that we get and then the diesel will just drip out see it's not running it's just dripping drips down there gets caught in the tin saves a mess those funnels are absolutely amazing things everybody needs one we've got here a screw o-rings off the top of here there's another o-ring in here now I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but down down in that hole is a tiny ball so when you take this to bits we do not want to be losing that ball so let's have something I'm going to do I'm going to pop it inside that bag so I know where it is so let's crack this open my three-quarter spanner on my five-eighth spanner I'm going to tip that up that way because I don't want that ball falling out yet there it is right that's not a one eighth ball is it that looks like 3 16th 195 5 mil near enough Four point nine six. One point nine five. Right. So I'm going to pop that in that bag out the way for the minute. Now let's have a look at this. So we've got a redundant seal there. Right. To extract this, which is, it's not essential, but I want to have a look at something. Oh, wait a minute, might not need to. See this undercut here? I think there should be an O-ring in there because... If you have a look at this drone that I'm going to put up... It's a drone I found on the internet. Drones of this is particularly hard to get a hold of. But I found this drone and it shows an item in here. And I think we're going to need to put an O-ring in there. So, let's see if we've got an O-ring that will fit in there. Eh? That's not one in the seal kit. That's too big. Now I need a hook to get that back off. Right, let's try a little one. As I said, on the drone, it shows you quite clearly something in there, but there's no mention, and the drone's poor, as I said. You've seen on the picture, the drone is poor. But I think that should go in there. So when you screw that down, you can feel that pushing. Right, now, I'll tell you what, we're going to change these O rings on you, but I'm going to change them out anyway and put the ones on out of the seal kit. Not the ones that I'm getting out of my box. Okay. So that's the two out of my box. Let's tip everything out here. Let's not confuse that one. So, let's put this o-ring
on a quick visual inspection, I think these are slightly bigger cross section than the ones I have. And that one pops on there. That's a much nicer fit as well on there. So we've got that's what old seals off. On the bottom of here is a flat washer. Put the washer on. Put a new seal on. So what a ball back in the hole. That screw all the way out. So what you don't want is to tighten this up and find this forcing on the ball. She's stressing everything. You don't need to stress it. Nip that up. That works. Basically, one turn. Right, okay, that's that. Done. Need to open my little packet for our aluminium bit. And that sits on there, like that. Okay, now. Let's get this popped back in and see if it's cured while leaks, huh? Screw back in and I tell you what mind, when I put this back in with the two new o-rings on this screw, it took a bit of coaxing, shall we say, to go in. They definitely looked thicker cross section than the ones I had. Um, and that feels better as well. That's not a slack in there now. Right, so what we'll do now is we monitor that, we get some blue paper towel, we'll go down, we'll mop it all up, make sure everything's bone dry down there. Then we'll put a fresh piece of dry towel in underneath and for the rest of this afternoon we'll keep popping out. Fingers crossed that's what problem solved. Right, so that was a quick little video on resealing the cold start screw which is particular to Davy Brown tractors and apparently no other tractor or no other diesel pump has these on except the ones fitted to Davy Brown tractors which is why only parts are available from Davy Brown tractor parts at £6.60 £6.60 can we get the number off that? That sounds like a bit of a there we go, 41252, £6.60, two seals, uh, sorry, two O-rings and a cone seal that fits on the little shaft that pushes the ball into the seat. If it stops your leaks, it's worth the £6.60, isn't it? Right, well thank you very much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I like learning things and the biggest thing that I keep learning about this is not to believe what some people tell you because some people are only interested in selling you more expensive bigger parts as they're supposed to selling you little seal sets when there's nothing wrong with your metal work and all you need is rubber why would you want to buy a full replacement screw for it's got to be in excess of 55 quid by the time you get it delivered to your door and that's just the UK. If, like Shane, you're looking for a set of these to go to America and all you can buy is a screw, that's going to start and get expensive, isn't it? Which is probably why a lot of people decide just to let it leak. Okay, well, thank you very much. As I say, if you like it, please give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, tell your mates. The channel is still growing tremendously and we really, really do appreciate 
everybody's time who comes visiting us to see what we're doing. So, remember, don't believe what people's telling you. But more importantly, don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. See you in the next one. By the way, the next one is going to be a good one. We're going to be reassembling the valve chest. More about that on Sunday morning, huh? Right, see you in the next one. Bye now. Stay safe. Take care.